The first step when replacing an LCD panel is to make sure the laptop is not plugged in and to remove the battery. Then remove all visible rubber screw covers on the screen assembly. Once done, go ahead and remove all the screws attaching the bezel to the top cover. It is important to remember the positions of the unique screws. For example, this laptop has two longer screws at the bottom and four shorter screws on top. They will need to be reinstalled in the same positions later. Please note, some laptops will have screws on the side of the display assembly, but in this case, all screws are facing forward. Now that we removed all the screws, the bezel can be removed. Carefully pry the plastic away from the screen, starting from the side, moving top around to bottom. Try not to apply too much force. It is possible to break off plastic tabs underneath or to fracture the bezel. Depending on the laptop design, you may need to remove few other screws in order to gain access to the screen frame. In this particular case, I will just loosen four screws at the bottom giving me a better view of the four tiny screws holding the screen in. Let's go ahead and remove the final four screws. Please be extra careful of the last screw and catch the screen from falling on its own. Gently put the screen onto the keyboard, making sure no cables are overstressed. Disconnect the power cable from the inverter board, then carefully lift the clear tape securing the video connector to the screen. Disconnect the video cable leaving the clear and any other tape on it carefully discard the old panel. If the replacement screen does not have any protective film, cover the keyboard with a cloth or a paper towel. Otherwise, put the new screen on the keyboard and reattach the power cable to the inverter. Then reconnect the video cable and secure old tape. It is very important not to force any of the connections. If aligned properly, good fit should be achieved fairly easy. Lift the screen back up to line it up with the frame and secure the four tiny screws starting from the top. Remove any protective film from the screen. Refasten all other screws. At this point, it is safe to test out the new screen. Go ahead and connect the AC adapter and hit power. Once the screen lights up and the startup graphics appear, you'll know if the screen is properly installed and working. Hold the power button again to cancel the boot up and disconnect the AC adapter. The final step is to replace the bezel. Start from the bottom and move consistently to the top, gently snapping the plastic throughout the perimeter of the screen assembly. Replace the screws observing the proper positions. Reinstall the screw covers and voila, you're done.